I have with me uh, Dr. Upal Shanibukto, eminent nephrologist from the city of Kolkata. My question to you is that hyperkalemia is a limiting factor while uh, treating patients with CKD, including choice of medications. What advancement have we made in, the, in tackling this important issue? It's always been a difficult part to treat patients on heart disease and kidney disease for acid inhibition and major cortical receptor antagonists frequently having side effects of hyperkalemia. But now the management of hyperkalemia on outpatient basis, on your clinic, for a long term is going to get easier. There were two drugs that have been approved by FDA in 2015, patidomar and sodium zirconium cyclosyndicate. Sodium zirconium cyclosyndicate is a good use that is going to get available in India. It's all, all, already been approved by the, our, our drug authority. It's been getting, probably will get a uh, SZC from March, April onwards next year. It's a very good oral drug to control hyperkalemia quickly as well as on long term basis with very few GI side effects of intolerability that we have presently on the sodium resins that we have. And this drug has been used and have good evidence in many other countries to prevent hyperkalemia, but allow you to use higher doses of uh, AC inhibitors and ARB and metacortical receptor antagonists like aldactone, like epidurinone and phenylalanine in your clinical practice, managing the patient's hyperkalemia, making the management much easier. I think that will be a welcome step if you have sodium zirconium cyclosilicate and even later on, I'll expect patiroma to get available in India. Thank you. Thank you.